it's Janae Way, and today I'm coming at you with a new YouTube video. I'm going to be showing you guys my stripper shoes. These are the shoes that I use for pole dancing. I'm going to talk about my favorites and what I suggest for beginners. So if you're interested to see that, then keep on watching. But before we even get into this video, make sure you're subscribed, sis, okay, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae Way so we can always stay connected. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. So I want to start this video with a disclaimer. I have shoes in all different heel heights and I'm going to be showing them to you. But if you are a beginner and you're looking to purchase your first pair of dancing shoes, please start off with six inches. Please, please, please start off with six inches. Do not be like sis who thought it would be cute to throw on some 10 inch heels because we all know what happened to her. <laughs> this is not a game. And one more thing I want to mention, all of the shoes that I'm showing you in this video, I will leave links to them down below in the description box so you can check them out for yourself. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first pair of shoes that I have are these six inch pleaser heels. They're in bright pink. They come with the standard plastic straps. And like I said, these are six inches, so these are perfect for beginners. Now, with the plastic straps, what you want to keep in mind is when you get your shoes and you order in your size, they're going to start off a little tight, but the more that you wear them and you break them in, this plastic will actually stretch out and mold to the shape of your foot. So don't mind that. They just take some time to break in. But these are the first pair that I have, and these are my first pair ever that I actually got, and my sister gave these to me. Thank you, V. Um, and yeah, they're just perfect for beginners, super cute, and come in all kinds of different colors. The next pair I have, these are also six inches, but these are Ellie brand, so these are not pleasers, these are Ellie. I have them in rose gold, also got these from my sister. Um, and they still have the plastic straps as well. The one thing I will say about Ellie, personally, I like Ellie because they run a little bit narrow and I have narrow feet, so they work for me. So you can definitely try out the different brands to see which one you like better. These personally are good for me just because I have narrow feet. So if you have narrow feet, I highly suggest checking out the Ellie brand of shoes. The next pair of shoes I have are these seven inch pleaser sandals. And unlike the first two that I showed you, these straps are patent leather. And personally, I do not like them because they tend to stretch a lot. And like I said, I have narrow feet and I also have small ankles. So the more I wear these shoes, the more they stretch out and then they're not as secure on my foot because of how narrow my feet are. But I still wear them. I still make them work. I just don't like how much they stretch out. So personally, I don't think I'm planning to buy any other shoes that are patent leather like this. Next up, I have another pair of seven inch pleaser heels. These ones are just all black and kind of the same thing. Um, these still have the patent leather straps. It's just not a glossy finish, but same thing like the first pair that I showed you. I don't like how the patent leather stretches. Like my feet and my ankles are just too small and they don't stay secure, but otherwise they're still a nice heel. Um, might work for other people, but because of how much this material stretches over time, personally, I don't really like them too much. And last but not least, I have my all-time favorite shoes, my current babies. These are my 8-inch pleaser boots, and yes, they are messed up because I put in work in these shoes, you guys. 8 inches, hot pink bottoms, super, super cute. And personally, I like boots better than everything, closed-toed boots, just because they give me the ultimate support for my feet and my ankles, and I feel like I could do anything in these. The only thing with boots and just anything in general, if you're um, increasing the heel height, it's going to be harder to do a lot of tricks because you're adding more weight onto your feet. So when I'm trying to go upside down, climb, do inverts, all that kind of stuff in these, it's a little bit difficult, but it also gives me more of a workout because it's like having ankle weights on. Um, but these are my babies. I love these shoes. It's time for a new pair because obviously Bruh. I just beat these up. But my all-time, all-time favorite dancing shoes right now are boots. Love these. Definitely going to get more pairs. These are my babies. And yeah, I just love them. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested to see all of the things that I use on a regular basis as a pole dancer, definitely check out this video where I show you everything in my stripper bag. Um, but it's basically all the things that I take with me, whether I'm taking class or teaching class. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And comment down below if you're a pole dancer, what your favorite shoes are, or if you're a beginner looking to buy some shoes, what shoes you plan on buying. As always, don't forget to subscribe, sis, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae Way so we can always stay connected. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.